Welcome again to our video series on N hair driven X Gen grass interacting with an N cloth driven water balloon. This is part 3 of a video series. If you haven't seen part 1 on creating X Gen grass or part 2 on connecting the N hair system to the X Gen, then click on the I on the top right corner to be redirected to the videos. In this video, we will be discussing how to add N cloth dynamics to make a water balloon type of simulation. Let's dive right in. The first thing we need to do in every scene is to set the project. Then, let's open our grass file. For speed and performance, we're going to make the water balloon in its own separate file, but we need the ground plane in order to do this. Once your file is open, select on the ground plane, and we need to export Alembic. Just go to Cache, Alembic, Export Alembic, Options. In the Options, change this to Current Frame, and scroll to the bottom, and check World Space. This ensures that the object is always in the world space location when we take it to another scene. Now let's open a new file and bring in the ground plane. Just go to Cache, Alembic, Import Alembic Cache, and look for your ground plane. Now I'm just going to create a sphere and move it into place. I want it to be pretty high up and fall down onto the ground. Just like we did for N here, we're going to make the ground a passive collider. We just have to change the tab to Effects, go to N Cloth, Passive Collider. And once we do, we're going to change the thickness to the same value as we had in the XGen file. Next, we have to make the ball end cloth. To do this, just select on your sphere, go to end cloth, create end cloth. When we go to the attribute editor, you see that end cloth has a lot of different attributes. Again, I like to change the thickness first. I won't be going over all of these different attributes in this tutorial, but you can check out the CGJC tools dot com blog. There is a blog post that goes into detail on the definition of each attribute in in cloth dynamics. I'll put the link in the description below. For now, just go to the presets and as you can see in the presets, there's a water balloon preset. If we hit play, right off the bat, this looks pretty good. The next thing that I like to change is in the nucleus node. If you go to the channel box and you scroll to the bottom, there is one attribute called space scale. Space scale is the relationship of the size of objects in your scene. By default, Maya's measurements are in centimeters, but the nucleus works in meters. If you decide that each unit is one centimeter, then if we had 100 centimeters, we'd have to switch our space scale to 0 0.01. However, our scene isn't that big, and the preset seems to be working pretty well. I'm just going to slightly adjust this to see what difference I get. As you can see, it gives a little bit more gravity, weight, and drops a bit faster. I changed this value first because it drastically changes the numbers that you're going to put in your attributes in your end cloth dynamics later. Once you have this value to something that you think looks good, go to your end cloth attributes and start adjusting things. This is a time where you have to experiment with trial and error to see what works for you in your scene. In this scene, I mostly am adjusting the stretch the bend, and playing around a little bit with the damp to see what occurs. Once you have a simulation that you really like in your scene, we just have to export this. Again, we're going to use Alembic caching. So I'll select my ball, go to Cache, Alembic Cache, Export Alembic. Again, I want to go to the Options panel and make sure I have World Space checked on. But this time, instead of Current Frame, I'm going to put Time Slider, and I'm going to move my Time Slider to the number of frames that I want to cache. And this concludes our video. In our next video, we will go over how to integrate this ball simulation with our end hair grass simulation. Make sure to subscribe to get notifications when that next video comes out. Like, share, comment, and let us know what videos you want to see next.